Good afternoon, it's Jay coming to you again with uh, another Cubase project here. Working with templates. Uh, I've done this one before. I just want to streamline it a little bit more and get it down to a little smaller uh, time constraint and quickly show you how to and what the benefits are of using a template. Today I'm going to be setting up a template to, for use with my 8 channel uh, mic input uh, Amoto 8 Pre. I've already went ahead and put in eight mono tracks to use, plus a couple of uh, of effects channels, as well as a head a separate headphone mix. So I've already done that. I know this is what I need for this project on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm using and also adding another time signature here that I can use in addition to the bars and beats. So I need this in here all the time. So I think I'm pretty much set. Uh, the last piece of the puzzle I want, you want to go to is to make sure your mixer is set up appropriately. So I like to come in and make sure that everything is set up and in the mixer view is the easiest way to do that. And you can see here I've set up my outputs, my inputs for 8 pre channels 1 through 8. And then my main out set for each one of those particular channels appropriately. And then the last effects channel track, I'm using it as a headphone mix, and I have that output to the headphones. Additionally, I'll put those effects channels in as headphones all the way across the top, so I can mix that. And now I'm going to go through and add the reverbs in for each one. And again, you can actually do a copy and paste of this. I'm just doing it the long way on each one of those channels and then do a compressor on each one of these channels so that it's already in there the routing is already available to us and we can just take it from there okay and then just enable all those so they're active you don't have to go back and do that everything that you set up in your template is remembered and it it's and it comes up back in your template. So I won't add any reverb or compression to any of these channels at the time because I don't know what I'm going to be plugging in. So that's ready to go. So now we're we're finished with that. I'm going to hide the output channels and the input channels and the effects channel channels, and just get just the inputs. So I really like to go in ahead of time and add some inserts available to me on my input side. So that's the one of the advantages of Cubase that you can actually record them. as you're doing digital recordings you can ha use the plugins you have at your disposal on the input side as well. So to come in I always start with number two just in case I want to put something else in. And I'm just going to add a Waves uh, C1 uh, Gate Mono just something there and we're just going to load the classic gate there and then you can see as I'm talking in this microphone it is reacting to that sound just put that in as a starting point uh, and then that's good so then you can come down here in this little corner I'm going to put can't hide on these and we're actually going to go and re-enable that. Okay. All right. So you can go through and you can add those uh, inserts on the input side, how you ever want, and have those available to you. You can just turn them on or off and adjust the settings as you need to. So I know I'm going to be running uh, possibly drums on this first couple of channels here. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and additionally add in a couple of more of those of those type of effects. Now I got that done. I have all the inserts inputted on the input side. And again, you can go in and uh, turn those on and off and adjust those once you start uh, knowing exactly what you're going to put on those particular inputs. So I just want to have them available already loaded in the template so I don't have to go searching for it. So now that is, that is done. I open up the other side of the mixer. So you can see what's going on there as well as what's going on the input side. 
um, hide the top and bottom rows so you got like a small channel here and then expand that across the screen like so and then hit F3 so it, again your template is going to remember every single thing that you do so now that I got the input set up with the inserts that I want I got the output set up um, some mix and effects channels here I think I'm ready to save so now I'm going to go to file and save as template and you just name the file whatever you want so I'll do it since this is my 8 pre that I'm using on this particular template let me move this over here I'm going to do 8 pre 8 channel mix and hit OK now that that is done you can just go up and close it it's going to ask you do you want to save you click don't save and now the next time that you go to new project your template that you just made is now in there 8 pre 8 channel mix I'll click on that click on the folder that you want to do this and I do blank for any of these templates I'm using and it automatically loads up everything identically to what you had before even if I hit the mixer window you can see the mixer comes up exactly in the exact spot that I had additionally any workspaces that you had created are already there and available for you as well so that's what makes templates so more efficient to use and get those set up for all your common recording tasks and it'll make um, everything a lot, lot easier to set up and run Cubase.